Welcome to my YouTube. Here's the thing. I filmed this entire thing on my actual camera and then I watched it back and it was a mess. So I'm redoing it now on photo booth. Um, sorry. This, we're ignoring it. We're pretending that it's not there. It's a pile of clothes. It was in this chair because this is my, my depression chair where I just dump things. Um, but I needed to sit here so I moved the dump behind me. And no, I don't mean my ass. Sorry, that, that was a necessary. This is going to be a breakdown of the production of Cheated. If you don't know, Cheated's my new song. It's the lead single from my upcoming EP called I Wish We Never Met. And it comes out September 3rd and I'm very excited. Christina and I are going to break down the production of Cheated for you. Christina is such a big part of this EP and this song. And I'm so grateful for her. Also, let me give a backstory. Basically, Christina and I took a production class. At the end of the class, the goal was to have two songs done. And so this song was my first assignment. It was supposed to be our uncomfortable song. I was uncomfortable the whole time because I didn't know what I was doing. So this was like really my first time producing. At the end of the class, obviously I knew I wanted this song to be on the EP. So I sent it to Christina. So I'm gonna walk you through my end and then Christina's gonna come on. She's gonna explain how she polished it up, some things that she added. Hope you enjoy. Go stream cheated, pre-save the EP. Welcome to Knock Off Mix with the Masters with me and Christina UJ. <laughs> okay, Liz, you're recording in three, two, Welcome to my logic file. So it started with this piano. Next thing I added was a synth because I love synths and I thought this one was so beautiful. literally magic so after that i think the next thing i added was for some reason i wanted to add like a like a phone sound i couldn't tell you why i chopped this phone ringing sound and pitched it that's what that is the intro just needed more but i didn't know what and so somehow my brain was like telephone and then we also have static noise that i put in that's the noise except i we buried it so you can like barely hear it, but it's there and it still adds something even though you probably can't notice. And then we have some strings. Obviously they're not real because I don't know how to play real strings and also I don't have access to that. When I say I know the bare minimum about production, I mean it. And then this is actually a sample by MXM Tune. Um, it's like a like a riser. And then it sounded sick, so I put it in there. <laughs> um, and then for this drum fill here, I needed drums. So Christina helped me make this and I kind of cheated for this assignment because Christina helped me make this, so. I understand kicks when it comes to drums, kind of, but I knew I wanted it to sound like a heartbeat because obviously the song is about being cheated on and it's very like overwhelming, anxiety provoking. And so I wanted the core of the song to sound like a heartbeat. So I have this heartbeat kick that I just put a bunch of verb on. Throughout the song, it gets faster. So that's the first chorus and then going into the second verse. And then in the second chorus, it gets faster because you're like, holy shit, I'm like I found out I was cheated on. And then also throughout the bridge, Oh my lord, merch order shipped. And throughout the bridge, the heartbeat comes back in and it gets faster and faster. And then something Christina added when I sent her the project file, she had the idea of making it louder as it goes on because the end of the song is very intense um, and it kind of reaches this climax. Oh, another thing that I also, I don't know how I pulled out of my ass was I took the sound of like, the sound a phone makes when it's an error you, when you call a number that doesn't exist so i took that and chopped it and pitched it it 
but it gives it more movement and then it also just makes things make more sense. I think that's basically it, like what I did production wise. Now I'll show you some of the original vocals. I knew I wanted the song to be, I wanted it to have echoes and like ad libs and whispers and stuff like that just because to me it fit the vibe of the song and also it kind of fit in with some of the lyrics. So this was the chorus vocal. These were the chorus vocals that I did. Um, for my final project. And then I also really love this, it's like one of my favorite harmonies, I think. I was excited about that. The bridge uh, is my favorite thing ever. The end of Cheated came to be because one, I didn't really want to give it a second, like a last chorus, but two, I also didn't give it a last chorus because when I was producing this for like my project final, I didn't have time to give it a last chorus because I was finishing it the day it was due. And so I was like, oh, what if I just layer the chorus on top of the bridge because it's already an intense song and I think it would kind of tie everything together of like the sadness and frustration. And it ended up working out in my favor and sounded really sick. So that's how that happened. Then I had r originally recorded this like single, uh, which is this. Uh. And Christina's explanation we kept it stacked it and then she had the idea of every bar to add another harm and more stack so it kept building and building christina is a genius and she's classically trained vocally and so she's she's incredible with like arranging harmonies and stuff like that and so i'm so happy with the, how that turned out so that was kind of my end it's christina's turn she's going to explain more yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Christina. I'm a music producer and a software engineer. And today I will be walking you through the production for Liz Viznet's track Cheated. Liz and I have been working together for about six months now and we actually worked together to produce her new EP and her first EP, I Wish We Never Met, which is coming out September 3rd, go stream or pre-save. But this track was the release single for it. So. This track we worked together on was actually the track that I did the least on. So a lot of what I did was tweaking it and making it more repeat listenable and doing a lot of uh, that kind of work with her. So this is the logic file for Cheated. It's a little bit crazy and all over the place. We tried to color code it and that doesn't always work. But the cool thing about it is, is that there is 133 tracks total, 108 vocal tracks alone. So the song was very vocal heavy and that was by design. I'm a very vocal producer. So when I produce songs, I add a lot of harmonies and um, stacking. So a lot of the same part over and over again to make it sound very full. I really enjoy just the way that a choir sounds. I'm a choir kid, I'm an acapella kid. It's kind of who I am. And so this song, we kind of went all out in that direction. And I think that was the taste that I really put on this song. Um, Whereas the other songs I did a lot more of the production um, in terms of instruments and in terms of, um, you know, picking up the sounds and the structure and everything like that. I think one of the best parts of producing this song was really putting together um, those harmonies. One idea that we really had was the bridge harmonies. So what I can do is I can solo all of the harmony tracks and you can kind of hear the individual singing parts. Really the, the lead up into the bridge and the bridge itself were the heaviest parts. In fact, at one point I was like, I just want to go all out. Can I have that freedom? And Liz was really uh, open and, and willing to do that. And so my favorite part of that is actually the lead into the bridge. So these harmonies specifically are really cool. That part was really just like kind of a spur of the moment thing. Um, Liz and I work on Zoom most of the time. So um, I had this idea and I said like, hey, I'm gonna mute you so I can record some vocals. And I just kind of recorded this bridge ad lib to make the transition from the chorus to the bridge feel a lot fuller and a lot more 
um, exciting because really when you're writing music and you're producing music you want to build tension in order for the release to feel really satisfying and all of those beautiful sounds that we added in drop out for the bridge this buildup really makes that feeling really satisfying um, in addition we did a lot of work with the drums um, if you notice in the background we use a lot of different kinds of sounds so one of the more popular sounds and something really built down into the mix is the telephone noise. So if you listen. And we actually use that in the bridge as percussion. Those cell phone sounds were one of Liz's ideas. I thought it really just added a lot of texture to the mix. Um, if you listen to a lot of Billie Eilish, for example, Phineas, her producer and brother, does a lot of that kind of stuff. And so I think that like buried piece really inspired a lot of the different drum pieces we did. For example, this um, sort of drum sound that we added um, into the chorus, that ticking really sounded like a clock and I thought that would be really cool to contrast with a telephone. I think those really contrasted well with the more traditional snares that we used in the second verse. That was something that I wanted to add in because the original verse two had some really strange drums that were more on that like ticking sound. I really felt like it wasn't really true to the sound that we were trying to go for. I want the listener to be listening to something new every couple of bars so that they're interested, so that something is changing, even if it means taking something out, right? So when I was talking about in the bridge where we drop instruments out, right? That's something new that you're listening to. The last thing that I really enjoyed doing was um, building up the chorus and the bridge overlap the very end. Um, we had this idea to really just have everything come together. So nearly all of the instruments except the bass come back in at the very final chorus. That overlap with the bridge lyrics and the chorus lyrics really gives you that feeling of like tension and two-sidedness that the song represents. I think that this really conveys meaning in the song through production and through like songwriting, not just lyric wise, but in the way that the song is structured. Um, and so I really enjoyed the way that we kind of put this together. And not only did we overlap the bridge lyrics and the chorus lyrics, we also had Oz. Liz recorded these really awesome Oz um, that fill out the mix where there's no drums and where we're missing um, a good portion of the strings actually, so they kind of replace the strings in that way. Overall, this track was really fun to produce. Um, I think Liz really grew as a producer and a songwriter in the six months that we worked on the EP. And you can really tell when you listen to the songs um, how much she's grown since uh, grieving. And she really took the knowledge that she got from you know writing songs for many, many years into this EP and I think it comes across in not only the lyrical structure, but just the story that she's telling overall. This track really exemplifies the growth that Liz has gone through um, and the collaboration we were really able to kind of put our minds together. Um, Liz is much more of an acoustic artist in general and I think she was out of her comfort zone a lot of the times when we were producing this EP. Um, and I think pushing both of ourselves out of our comfort zone. I had never worked with Collaborator before. Um, and I'd really never produced a major project. Um, and so I think that really brought out some different kinds of songs that we weren't really expecting. Um, three of the songs on the EP were previously written and two of them were written specifically for this EP. Um, and it's really cool to listen to it all together because it, it really fits like a, a piece. I will definitely be doing a breakdown of Liz's other songs when they come out on September 3rd. Another plug for you to pre-save the EP and stream Cheated. I really hope that you got something out of this video. Um, yeah, that's it for me. I am super excited to share more music of Liz's and of mine. So yeah, love you. Hey, so thanks for watching. I hope this was fun for you. I hope you enjoyed it. We want to do more of these videos. I know Christina wants to do one for her channel. But yeah, I'm going to link Christina's YouTube channel in the description of this. Um, she has a YouTube channel and she's going to be coming out with fire videos and you all should go watch. So I'm going to link that down below and let us know what else you want to see. The EP comes out September 3rd. It's called I Wish We Never Met. You can pre-save it link in the description. I'm so excited and I can't wait for you guys to hear it and I can't wait to share more and more of the process with you and 
thank you to Christina for literally just being the best ever and the best collaborator that I could ever ask for. I'm so excited. And yeah, so love you guys with my whole heart and I will see you in my next video.